All right, guys, today is the day. Today is the day that these get mounted on the C8 Corvette. I can't freaking wait. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Justin, and this is Horsepower Obsessed. All right, guys, so as you know, the C8 Corvette is in fact here, and I have a couple mods planned for it, as well as some I've already done. If you haven't seen those, I'll link them all right up here somewhere. But ultimately, today is what I consider the most important mod on this car, and that is wheels and tires. As you guys know, I have a C7 Corvette ZR1, and I love the stock wheels. I had a C7 Corvette Z06 before this, and I love the stock wheels on that. GM typically does a pretty good job of putting stock wheels that are very fitting of the car's sexiness on the vehicle, but the C8 is kind of an exception to this rule. Both of the wheel options for the car, I don't really care for. So I ended up getting the open spoke carbon flash painted wheels on my C8 Corvette. And even if I had opted for the more expensive Trident wheels, I still didn't like the look of them. They just don't fit the car right, in my opinion. So one of the first things I was looking for was a new set of wheels. And believe it or not, the set of wheels that I have, I actually had these about two months prior to me actually getting the car. That's how much I was looking forward to these. So today is the day. We are going to go ahead and get these tires mounted onto the wheels and then the wheels mounted onto the car and everything's going to be great. I can't freaking wait to finally see this car with all the mods on it and this is the first step. Anyway, if you guys saw the video whenever I had the tires mounted on the front wheels on the ZR1, I'm doing the same thing today. It's going to be the mobile tire guy that comes out here and mounts the tires to the wheels and puts them on the car. So I'm literally doing nothing with this car. I'm going to back it out right around this area here and he is going to take the wheels off, take those ones apart to take out the TPMS sensors, put those in the new wheels and mount the new tires and then mount it to the car. So he's literally going to do all the work and that's exactly what his whole thing is about. And you're going to get to see the entire process from start to finish. So let's jump into it now. But of course, before we go jumping into anything, we got to get a cold start of the AWE exhaust system on this C8 Corvette. So let's hear it. is Adam again. He is from the Go Mobile Tires. He was the same one that did the tires on my ZR1, like I said. He's jacking up the car right now to get the rear tires off so he can get started with this whole process. But check this out. He's doing the two jack method here to make sure nothing gets twisted, nothing gets broken. This is why I like this guy. If you guys are in the Pittsburgh area, this is who you want to call to have this kind of thing done. Like I said, it's hugely convenient. He can come to where you work. He can come to your house like he is here in this situation. Right there's the number. If you guys are interested, I definitely recommend it. That's one wheel off. We're gonna step in the van and get the sensor out and then start on the new wheel. So basically we gotta get the tire bead broken so he can get the TPMS sensor out of this one. We were gonna just purchase four new sensors and use them on the new wheels instead and just leave this package all alone, but Apparently the 2020s are OEM sensors only, so we get to do things the hard way. are now putting the new tire on the new wheel and he's going to use the old tire pressure sensor but check those out guys it's going to look cool definitely look better than the stock stuff can't look any worse in my opinion at least look how concave those are doing a lot of these tires. That's no just in general. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I was staying busy, that's for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say that that bucket you're using there was almost completely empty last time I saw you. Now it looks like probably yeah, that's a, a whole new bucket. A whole new one <laughs> and it's almost empty too, yeah. so <laughs> guy's a freaking magician. Look at this. <laughs> so just like last time, we're going to get some black wheel weights up in here. But this is just the system he uses to balance the tire afterwards. Works well in the ZR1, so I'm assuming it will work just as well here. Those are big boys. So we have one mounted and the second one in typical weirdo car guy fashion, I wanna weigh this and see how much the difference is. So 70 pounds, <laughs> that's pretty heavy. It's a big boy right there. So 70 pounds, we're gonna weigh the new one here in a second, but that's insane. That, that is a crazy amount of weight. Hopefully these new ones are a little bit less because the ones that I'm putting on here are flow forged. So they should be a little lighter weight but we'll see. They're also wider, so maybe not, but check this out, guys. It's not down on the ground yet, so we can't really get an image, but I think it looks pretty good. Other than those lug nuts, I am not loving the lug nuts. I'm gonna have to get something different there. They're sticking out way too far, but it looks good otherwise. Nice and concave, giving the, the C8 the real supercar look. I love it. The moment of truth. This is the new wheel, the new tire. Yeah, that's still good. What is that, 12 pounds? A little less than 12 pound difference. So this thing weighs about 11.4 pounds less than the stock one and it's wider. So these are flow forged wheels. I guess the stock ones are probably just cast. That's what they were on the, the C7 Z06. So I have to assume the same applies here, but either way, these ones are a little bit wider. They're 12 inch in the rear instead of 11 and the tires are 315s instead of 305s and they look a lot nicer. Plus we're saving 11.4 pounds each. 22 almost 23 pounds in the rear that's pretty good pretty good stuff i'm happy with that so now the front stock tire let's see what this thing weighs about 52.4 so we're going to see what the aftermarket wheel and tire weighs as soon as he's done mounting them so 48.5 do you remember what the front one was 58 when it was to 10 pounds I th if I if I remember right, it was 58, so it's 10 pounds. But uh, I'll double check. I'll let you know down here somewhere, right, right in this area, right here, how much weight savings that actually is from the factory stuff. So there's the front one, kind of done. We're gonna see this thing all down on the ground and e-brake leveled and all that good stuff here in a second. So I'm excited though because they look way better than the stock stuff. Like I said, he comes to the house and does this. I didn't have to do anything. He literally jacked up the car, took the old wheels off, took the uh, tire pressure sensors out. I did nothing. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Well, that's just lazy. No, it's not necessarily lazy. It's smart. This guy does it all. So if you guys are in the Pittsburgh area, Go Mobile Tires. This is Adam. He's an awesome guy. He knows what he's doing, as you guys can see. He gets it done in like 10 seconds, which is totally crazy. <laughs> I know he doesn't like to say, yeah, 
I'll get it done in 10 seconds, but he does. So anyway, that's Adam. Check him out. If you're in this area, if not, I'll put their website down below. You can actually check for anybody that's in your local area that can do the same thing. Adam, thanks again, man. I Thank appreciate you. it. Have a good day. You we'll too. see you next time. All right, guys. So the Go Mobile Tire guy just left. Like I said, his name is Adam. He really knows his stuff. And he's going to be back here in about three days to give me my new rear tires on the ZR1, which is right back there behind me. But I want to send off the rear tires in a glorious fashion for you guys. So after I do that, I want to make sure he can put new tires on for me before I head out to Corvettes at Carlisle. So Corvettes at Carlisle this year, I will be at space S1 through S6 with AWE. Both of my Corvettes, the C8 and the C7 will be there in fashion, sporting their exhaust to let you guys hear what it sounds like before you purchase your own. Ignore this thing right here because that is a separate video. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> so as you can see, the kid is coming for the car. Once it's here, we're gonna talk more about it. But for now, let's just ignore it because this video is about the wheels, the wheels and tires. And as you guys can see here, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They look absolutely fantastic. Now this is sitting a little higher than it should because the e-brake was on whenever it was jacked up and all that good stuff. But we're gonna take it out to a parking lot here in a second and really let you guys see what this is gonna look like. Now also keep in mind that in the very near future, I do plan on lowering this car. So even though there is still a decent amount of wheel gap on this thing, it will be lowered very soon. And yeah, I don't know guys, this, this just looks absolutely awesome to me. I was never a big fan of the stock wheel setup on this car, but this one, just look at the, the concavity or concavity. I still don't know which one's right, but either way, <laughs> I love the way these things look because they look so freaking supercar. So anyway, let's jump in the car, head out to a parking lot and let this thing settle a little bit and take another look. And here we are, guys. This is my spot. <laughs> so it's just a parking lot a little bit down the road from where I live. Yeah, that thing looks absolutely freaking stunning. Those wheels fit that car absolutely perfectly. I'm so glad I went with these. Now, for those of you wondering what these wheels are, these are made by a company called Black Diamond. I will put all the information down in the description below, of course, but basically what we're looking at here is a 20 inch in the front and a 20 inch in the rear. Now, the front ones are nine inches wide and the rear ones are 12 inches wide. So we get a little bit of a thicker, meatier tire in the back and a little bit of more of a, an open design there in the front. I really, <laughs> I am really happy with these wheels though. If you guys can see down the side there, they stick out perfectly. They are perfectly matched with the fender, whereas the stock stuff sat in a little bit too far for my liking. So this is absolutely perfect. I am so pleased with this, it's not even funny. Now, these are, like I said, black diamond wheels. They are called the BD-F. 25 wheels. I'll put all this information in the description down below as well. But for those of you wanting to know right off the bat what these are, that's how you can order a set for yourself. They do come in 20 inch or 22 inch. So for those of you wondering why I didn't do 21 in the rear and 20 in the front, that's why, because you can only do 20 or 22 and I didn't want to step it up that much. I am just loving this car more and more every time I do something like this to it. I don't I don't know how well that's coming through on camera, but the wheels just look absolutely fantastic. I am so freaking happy with this. Now, of course, like I said, ignore the front lip there, but that is definitely helping with the look of the car. The whole thing is just coming together so nicely. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it from the other side here to see if the light helps at all. But guys, I can't say enough how happy I am with this setup. If you go to Black Diamond's website, which like I said, I will leave in the description down below. You'll be able to see all their offerings. And like I said, with the weight savings of these ones, the fact that the rears are even wider than the stock ones, and they're even way, 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 way nicer than the stock stuff, I think personally, it's a no brainer. But I know everybody has their opinions. This is mine. I absolutely love these wheels. The car looks fantastic. I couldn't be happier. Now, with that said, of course, I know there are those of you out there who think the stock wheels are fine. I don't wanna make it seem like those opinions don't matter at all because it's absolutely, it's your car. Do what you wanna do with it. I, I, I can't stop looking at this. I absolutely love this. It looks so 
super car-ish with those super concave wheels in the back. I love it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on this? That's going to do it though, guys. So if you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the wheels, the C8 Corvette, any of the stuff you've seen in today's video or ever on my channel, leave it in the comment section down below or shoot me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to answer anything you may have. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of C8 content coming that you're not going to want to miss. And of course, the C7 stuff sprinkled in there as well. But as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload. <laughs>